Parker here with Parker Safes and Vaults in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to work your uh, Sergeant Greenleaf Group 2 dial lock. Uh, just keep in mind that it is a, a left, right, left, right sequence. So you want to start out going to the left. And what we want to do is just start turning this dial to the left. Okay, you need to go four more times to clear out the memory. Uh, but you can go more than that if you want. But go four more times. Stop at your first number. In this case, we're at 64, first number. Now we'll be going to the right. We want to watch our second number come up once, twice. The third time we see it, we want to stop. So 10 is our second number. We're going to the right. One, two, and we want to stop this third time we see it here. Three. Now we'll be going back to the left. Our, our last number is 40, and we we'll want to stop on it the second time we see it. So once. Twice. Now that this is a now what we've done is we've opened everything up in there, and if and if we've done everything right, there'll be a slot, uh, a groove where the lock bar or the lever will want to come across and drop down in. If we've done everything right, we'll feel a little bit of resistance when that lock, uh, that locking lever drops into place. But we want to go past that to where the lock physically stops. So now we're going to the to the right. This is our last sequence. There's a little bit of resistance here. Okay. I want to go past that. That's where we actually drug the lock bar across, and now we can open up the safe. All right. So um, a few things, if uh, a few things I want to tell you about uh, to make sure that your lock's going to work right all the time. The lock, the locking bolts, go behind these, go behind this frame uh, in most safes, either a composite frame or a gauge steel frame, or in this case, it's a, a plate steel frame. Uh, but your lock bars, your locking bolts extend behind this frame. So there can't be anything behind that frame that's going to stop uh, the full extension of those lock bars. Now I've had uh, things like pen knives, uh, gun barrels, uh, uh, I had a saddle once, a rodeo saddle with a bunch of silver on it and the guy put it in the safe. And then what he did is we, we shut the, or he shut the door and he tried to, tried to roll the handle except something was impeding the full extension of those uh, locking bolts. So if that happens, just open it up and take out whatever's in there, okay? If something does get stuck in there and we've shut the door and we roll, we, we scramble our dial, um, the safe may lock up, but then it won't, won't let you back in. So real important, we don't have any, uh, any, anything in there, any contents that are gonna uh, uh, keep those bolts from extending. Um, another thing that we want to watch, uh, let's see, if you do have some trouble, uh, you know, sometimes uh, at the factory or wherever, uh, if we've reset the lock late, lately, we may be a digit off, okay, that happens occasionally, and so if your numbers, say, are 64, 10, 40, like on this safe, if you just can't get into that safe or you're having trouble with it, try going up and down a digit, so for example, we'd go to 65, 10, 40, and then if that doesn't work, we might try 63, 10, 40, and then we go all the way through that, doing up and down each time. So it would be 64, 11, 40, 64, 9, 40, and so on until we, we might luck out and, and uh, find that, sweet, that uh, spot where the safe opens up. If that happens, um, what we want to do is open the door, and if your safe has a detent, a detent back here, allowing you to throw the bolts with the door open, hit, hit your detent, and then roll your bolts, just like you normally would, to lock your safe, and then try that number a few times on your dial, okay? So try that, try that new number, that uh, whatever digit worked for you, try that a few times, and if that works, that's your new number, okay? We can always reset the lock, but that'll at least get you in until we set it back to uh, the original number, or if you're fine with with not resetting it, that's just your new number. One other issue that we have occasionally, um, I've had it once, <laughs> I've sold a lot of safes, but I've only had it one time, uh, was a stuck lever. And what happens is that lever, well, gets stuck uh, in, the, in the up position and it just won't drop down into that little slot there where we met that resistance. So what you can do in that case is cycle through your numbers just like, just like normal, except that when, you roll, when you're rolling it back to the right, we want to stop at the number eight, okay? And let's see, I can't get, well, let's just 
Okay, I didn't cycle through everything, but we'll just stop at the number eight. And then what we do, you want to protect your safe here at this point, put a little piece of cardboard or something. But then we're going to use a mallet, and we want to just tap up here. Sometimes you have to hit pretty hard, but we're going to hit up here a few times. And after we've, after we've smacked that a few times, then we're just going to bring this back and see if it'll allow that lever to fall down into that stopping point. And then at that point, it should stop somewhere around 87. You may have to try that a few times. Uh, but if it's a stuck lever, uh, roll, cycle through your combination completely on the way back. So you're going to go through your, your three numbers. And then on your way to your stopping point, start at, stop at 8. Uh, smack it with that mallet. And then keep going to your stopping point. Occasionally, you'll get that uh, locking bolt to fall down in there. And then at that point, uh, call a locksmith. Uh, and then we can we can work on your safe from there but at least you got in um, the other thing is sometimes um, you want to have your handle all the way to the left when you lock your safe so all the way to the left and then you'll cycle through your cycle through your numbers but sometimes um, maybe it just it's not working for you for some reason try just moving your handle back to the right just a little bit and then go through your numbers and if that still doesn't work Put your, um, I'm holding the camera here, but I put my left hand here and put a little bit of pressure on the right. And then as you're coming, you're coming around to that stopping point again after you cycle through your numbers, just oscillate this dial, kind of like that, right at that stopping point. As you're kind of maybe jimmy in the handle here a little bit, just kind of oscillate that and sometimes that'll let that lever drop into place. But these Sergeant Greenleaf Group 2 dial locks um, are very reliable. Um, you know, long term, personally, I think they beat an electronic lock. Um, but there are, you know, occasionally some problems. So I just thought I'd make you aware of those. And, uh, and that's it. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.